Hi sisters! Is there any way else to start this video than saying hi sisters? I don't think so. I can't think of a better way. I don't know. Can you? But, um, listen. Who would have known there would be so much controversy over this, okay? <gasps> I guess it's James Charles. A lot of things going on with him. I don't know. Anyways, not my business. A lot of people did not want me to make this video. A lot of people did want me to make this video. To be honest with you, I don't care. I don't care. I make hair just reacts videos. And James did his hair. Therefore, I shall react. <laughs> It's not that deep. It's not that serious. I don't have anything against James. I never met the guy. I'm sure he's a good person. I don't know. I know nothing about him besides what you guys see online. No hard feelings against anybody online. And I do not like canceled culture. So we don't do that here. If you guys are a part of canceled culture and you want to cancel everybody and just cancel me and cancel him, it's such a negative thing and it's not cute. Don't do it. But anyways, long story short, not a big deal. James did his hair and I'm really interested in what he did to it. I mean, I've seen pictures of it, so I know what it looks like, but I want to see the process of how he got there. Because I heard he did it himself and then got it fixed. Yeah. And guys, I am doing a Glitterati giveaway. You guys have been wanting another Glitterati giveaway. I'll be sending four winners a bottle of Glitterati. And all you gotta do is follow me on Instagram, Bradmondo NYC. Follow Xmondo on Instagram at Xmondo Hair. And um, make yourself known. Like my photo. Comment. Do anything. Whatever it takes, just make it known that you are in the giveaway. Whatever that is, just do it, all right? And the giveaway will close one week Week from today, which is August 31st. So if you'd like to enter, enter by then. And that is all. All right, want to watch James Charles bleach his hair? Let's do it. Hi, sisters. James Charles here. Hi, Welcome sisters. back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see, I am not exactly in at the sister studio right now, like I normally am for my video intros. And I don't even know if I'm actually going to end up posting this, but I thought I would just start filming. I'm so sick of people saying that. Every time somebody does their hair, I don't know if I'm gonna post this. We all know you're gonna post the damn video, all right? You wouldn't be filming it if you weren't gonna post it. Actually, maybe you would. I've done that a few times. Just in case, um, I am about to make a really bad decision. Well, I already made the decision and now we're about to, uh, I think it's a good decision. The decision. I was just at my friend's makeup event and she dyed her hair like platinum blonde. And Jesus also has platinum blonde hair right now. And Eldon also decided his hair platinum blonde. And for some reason, I feel intrigued to also dye my hair platinum blonde. And it's just hair, so if it looks bad, which it probably will considering I'm gonna dye it myself, I can always just dye it back to dark brown. Content, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing this. So my hairdresser text me and said, okay, if you're gonna bleach your hair, we're at least gonna try to do this right. So he sent me a list of things that I need, which is lovely. Blue based bleach, 30 volume cream developer. I need a violet toner and a demi permanent developer. I don't know what any of these things mean. Cotton strips where your hair separated, coloring cape to cover your body. <laughs> Needs a little heat, so hard to dry if you really want to go in that hard. An Afogee two-step protein treatment for after you're done coloring. Okay, sounds like a good list. Sounds like it's gonna be very impossible for him to do himself and make it come out. Actually, I don't know. This isn't the worst idea. Just walked out of Sally's and we have our lots of items and bits and bobs ready to bleach my hair. Our grand total came to $136.18, which is more than I expected, did you buy? Honest, but still less than what I guess it would cost at a salon. Like a little less. I am home now and we're ready to get started. Or at least I thought I was ready to get started until I was just informed that I have to wash my hair before bleaching it, which actually makes perfect sense. So I don't know why I didn't think of that beforehand, but I have a full face of makeup on and my hair is looking really cute today. So I'm kind of really sad, honestly, that I have to take this off. Can we rewind that? I was just informed that I have to wash my hair before bleaching it. Mr. James Charles, in what world do we wash our hair before bleaching? In what world? I'm confused. Big red signs here. Never wash your hair before bleaching it. Never. The dirtier, the better. Mm. I've done that a few times in my life. Wash it before I bleached it and it was not pretty. It was painful. Oh. The reason why you don't wash your hair before coloring it is because you need your natural oils on your scalp to protect it from the intense bleach that's about to sit on your skin, which is not uh, something we're meant to do. Our bodies are not accustomed to that. I mean, I guess they are probably more accustomed than they were a long time ago, but we're not supposed to put bleach on our scalps, on our skin. We need those excess oils to cover our scalp in order to um, make it so it's not painful and uh, doesn't burn our skin off. Uh, Cause it is literally bleed. It could burn your skin. You ever put bleach on your finger and it makes it all white, that's burning it. Very bad idea. This is gonna be a lot more of a painful process, um, unless he has a tough scalp, who knows. Never wash your hair before bleaching. Please, don't do that. I also realized that I have a dinner meeting tonight. 
in about three hours. So that's really bad considering this is probably going to look absolutely awful. I like the challenges people give themselves. Like Joanna, I gotta go on vacation next week. Antonio, I gotta go on vacation in a few days. James gotta go to a dinner three hours later. Uh, these other girls I watch have work in two hours. Like everybody's got something they gotta do right after they bleach their hair, I've noticed. It's kind of a pattern going on, but I like the challenge. It makes it more interesting, I think, you know? How are you gonna do this in three hours? <laughs> Ew. When you wash your hair, uh, you make tiny microscopic abrasions with your nails. So when you make the tiny abrasions in your scalp, the bleach will actually go into them and that's why it causes that burn effect. But you shouldn't get burning when you bleach your hair. You really shouldn't. I mean, if you do it right and you use the right formulas and the right stuff, it shouldn't hurt. Really? That's balloons. <laughs> <laughs> How many gays does it take to put on a good glove? That's the question. How do I measure off two ounces of this? Oh, no, please don't eyeball it. Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't have a measuring cup. You can eyeball it. Like Just make sure it's the right consistency when you eyeball it. I'm interested to see what the application <laughs> that process is gonna be. That's together. gonna be the interesting yeah, part. That's such a pretty color. Oh my god, it looks like brother from the palette. So if you guys don't are, don't know already, purple bleach lightener, whatever you want to call it, what it's gonna do is attack those yellow tones a little bit more than a white bleach would. So it's gonna really gonna put some ash pigment in your hair, and that is what the blue is, ash tone. So hopefully when it lightens, it doesn't too yellow, but um, James has very dark hair. He's like a level four. It might take more than one time of lightning to make his hair white. We'll see though. What are you doing? I was seeing if it was getting hot. Bleach is exothermic, uh, so when you mix it, it produces heat. So that was actually correct, but it doesn't really get hot that quick. It takes a long time to get hot. Um, and really it only gets hot in like foils and uh, when you're incubating it in some tight area with like maybe a bag on your head or something. I don't know. It doesn't really get that hot though. <laughs> Can't really tell what the technique is going on here. I don't know if there is a really technique. You can just take a apply the bleach kind of situation, you know? We see a lot of those apply the bleach kind of things. Like they're like, boom! Like I'm just gonna like, put that damn bleach in the head. I'm just gonna get a whoop. Right on the head. I think that he is starting with the ends. So that is good. I, I like that. That's actually good, but he's not applying enough bleach at all. He needs to put a lot more. He needs to look like toothpaste, like very caked on. That is when you know you put enough on. And this year, it's not enough. I'm so scared. Ow. It's a blonde girl summer. <laughs> I kind of always imagined James coloring his hair blonde, and I was like, it's only a matter of time before he does that. Like, mmm, it's kind of a good idea, yeah. I've never been blonde before. Is this over? No, never. Remember I had gray hair for a second, then I had the pink? Oh, wow. I don't remember that. Or that face. Too old for that shit. I don't know, man. I don't remember that. I'm not gonna lie. I honestly cannot stand when guys have the sides shaved and the really excessively long hair coming out of the top of their heads. But to each their own. Live your extra life. Do whatever you want. I don't know. The color is kind of cool. I like the color. And my scalp is burning. What if it looks so good? Like, what if it looks good? Like, it's I think it might. <laughs> oh. Is that in his eye? Ah, ah it's fucking blowing my eye. Okay, what the? No, oh my don't God. do that. It's literally putting my eyes! Oh, shit. This isn't funny. Oh my God. Am I gonna lose? If I was blind before, I'm gonna fuck it off with now. Blind and blonde? Wow. Oh my, really my God. Video That's myself. really not a good idea to get it in your eye. Coloring your own hair is just way too stressful. It's honestly just like, ugh. It's like your arms hurt, your life hurts. It's just like too much work. Like, it's just not a good idea. It's like, mm. It's like one of those things that always seem like a good idea and then you get into it and it's just like, wow, hairstyles put in a lot of work. Yeah, you don't think about it. It looks so easy until you get your hands on it and you start doing it yourself and you're like, what the f is this? Like, who signed me up for this? And then everybody's like, ah, nobody signed you up for it. I don't know. I don't think anybody made you do this. Put extra uh, bleach on the bald spots. That's allowed. I have no bald spots. Oh, yes, you do. Yo, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he is going <laughs> into <laughs> that <laughs> scalp. <laughs> he is like, <laughs> we're gonna no, get it in there deep. He looks like he has experience with hair. Mr. James Charles, I thought he would be, oh, I thought you were bleaching your hair yourself. This looks like somebody is helping you. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding, who cares? That itches! How long do you need to keep it on for? I bet this is burning like a 
madre. It is probably hurting so bad because he washes hair. Please, again, never wash your hair before you bleach it. Please. He's gonna be a pain. So Yes. Good idea. And also, what kind of foils are those? That's not what these are used for. That. Look like you're about to storm Area 51. <laughs> oh my god, this does not feel good and or fresh. Yeah. I wouldn't put a blow dryer on it. It's just gonna dry it out. So bleach gets dried out and the moment bleach is dried out, it stops working. You really shouldn't blow dry it. You should steam it. A little trick I like to do when I'm at home doing my hair and I don't have a steamer around, they make hair steamers. When I don't have a steamer, I like to use one of those bags like he's wearing, spray the inside with water and then go and sit outside in the sun or put the blow dryer on very, very low or the high heat setting and just like go from far away just so it gets hot in there and starts steaming. It actually makes the lightener lighten way faster and it makes it so it doesn't ever dry out so it just keeps lightening and lightening and never dries out and it's actually such a genius thing that i came up with and my mind is so powerful <laughs> oh that's blonde it actually like lifted really really well do you think we have to bleach it again yeah the wash usually it looks lighter when it's like because it has white Okay, okay, let's wash this out now. Turn a little to the to the camera. What? Yo, it's they are mad like yellow. Yikes. You look like a chicken, don't you? <laughs> what have we done? Should I dry it? Are we Happened. Um, honestly, I didn't think it was gonna come out good, but the application wasn't so horrible. I, I'm thinking they just didn't apply enough lightener on there and dried it out with the blow dryer. Um, and good luck to James because now he has to apply another layer on his scalp that is already probably on fire. Can't wait to see that. I'm literally gonna jump out of the window right now. Okay, what are we gonna do about this? <laughs> What's the game more time? Shave your whole head. Oh, <laughs> look at the ends, man. And he has very cool toned skin, like extremely cool toned skin. This yellow is just making him look not good. Uh uh. This is not what I wanted to add to this video. We literally have to go like right now. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? I have powder left over. You're a Wow, blonde legend. Oh, yes, PW2. <laughs> Come through. It's like a cheap. Bleach, honestly though, kinda kicks ass. When he grew up as a hairdresser, everybody's like, BW2, <gasps> don't touch that. <laughs> yes, get those foils in there, man. Did you just gonna foil one piece? Yeah, I got lazy. Put the foils on, that would've worked. <laughs> one foil. Okay, well, I'm gonna put on this cap once again, and we're going to let this sit for 30 more minutes. Yo, James, your friend kind of slayed the application on that. Oh my god, it's literally, it's like, actually hot to the touch. This is so scary. Okay, I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Does it feel good? Oh, yeah. His poor scalp. Oh, that's another thing. I learned all this stuff the hard way, believe me. I'm not saying I'm like, I don't make mistakes, but like, ooh. Don't shampoo the scalp roughly after you bleach your hair because you got so much going on on that scalp. You don't want to irritate it anymore. When you wash bleach out of hair, you gotta be like extremely gentle. You're just gonna go like this. <laughs> Cause your hair is already stripped of all its nutrients, all its pigment, and you just want to like give it some love now. Give it a little condition, a lot of condition, and then move on. Oh, wow, that's really blonde. Okay, so we're trying to tone. It looks fine. I mean, I probably would have lightened it a bit more. Oh my god, I think my hair is ripped. His scalp probably hurts so bad. He washed it, applies two layers of 30 volume bleach, scrubs his head again, and then scrubs his head again when he gets the uh, toner put on his head. Don't do that. That is probably horribly painful. He is not being dramatic, honestly. This is the first time in my life I think I'm gonna say this. He's not being dramatic. It's like the worst pain. It's Horrible. Oh my god, his face is so red. <gasps> I mean, it's wet, so you can't really tell like what color it is because it looks gray, but also give me yellow lights, you know? 
Giving you yellow vibes. It's pretty hot. Do you want to dry it? I think we should definitely put the purple shampoo in for a second. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day, and oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not quite there. You didn't quite do it. I am blonde. I just woke up a little while ago, looked in the mirror, and it looks pretty natural on him. In a weird way, I though. That I did this thing. <laughs> it was a long night, if you couldn't tell. Um, this is kind of what the hair is looking like right now in natural lighting. It's pretty platinum. There's definitely a few like, purple pretty, strands here. In the pretty, pretty yellow. Hello, you guys. I'm here with my good friend Dustin, who always cuts my hair and makes it look fabulous and fantastic and gay. And we are going to fix this now. So, what are we gonna do? So I just mixed up a little violet based toner to just take the little bit of yellow tint that's still in there. Just put that all over. It's gonna sit on there for like a few seconds, like maybe 30 to. You know, one minute. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> it's already pretty blonde, so it shouldn't take too long. See, Dustin applied it to the ends first, which was the most orange part because toner happens very fast. When you're dealing with platinum blonde people, it happens really fast. So you gotta work very fast or else you're gonna get some spots that are deep violet, gray, white, and you just gotta apply it. You gotta get it on that head in a very short amount of time. Um, and so he applied the ends first because they were the most orange and then he put on the roots real quick and then probably rinsed it off. Uh, oh, 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 and I, oh. I mean, I've already oh, seen it, but I feel like I'm seeing it for the first time again. Ah! I'm blind! You guys! Okay, hello sisters, James Charles here, and welcome back to my new blonde hair. This is so fun and so fresh. This definitely looks a lot different um, on camera than in pictures. A little face tune there, James. Honestly, love how it turned out. I really did not think this is actually going to look good, but I'm freaking obsessed. I feel like I look beautiful. I look really tan. I feel like I look like I'm about to have just more fun than everybody else, and I'm kind of down. I would much prefer to see James in this kind of a color, just like very white silver. I mean, mine's fading, but this is the thing. So when you have a very pink complexion, very cool tone complexion, it isn't the worst thing to have warm colored blonde hair because it ends up just bringing out the warmth in your skin. But however, a silver toned white, white, white blonde would look, in my opinion, so much better on James and it would really compliment his skin and be very sleek. And listen, I think he looks great and I think with makeup, it's gonna look like woof and fun and fresh, but there's always room for improvement and next time he gets his hair done, um, it can be lightened even more into a very silvery white blonde. When you first start as a blonde, you kinda gotta work your way up sometimes. You gotta start in the yellows, you get the yellow range and you get more white. You do a little bit more lightening, a little more lightening, and then you end up like this and you just are addicted to having white hair. But it looks good. So who's gonna bleach their hair next? I don't have any guesses, but um, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Don't forget to enter the Glitterati giveaway, which ends on August 31st. And follow me on Instagram, Bradmano OSC. Follow my brand, X Mono Hair on Instagram. Subscribe to my new channel, Brad and Eric, for behind the scenes videos of my life and Eric's life. The link to that channel will be on my end screen, so just wait until that happens. And that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time. Peace.